Hey everyone, so I am doing some candles for my candle line passion versus pleasure. Alright, so for those of you who may or may not know, my passion versus pleasure candle line is simple. Really, like it's really simple. Passion is all about getting you motivated to do with everything that you need to do in the morning. If you work late at night, it will get your spirits pumped up and ready to go and to start your evening, okay? And if maybe you are lacking a little bit of energy, my passion candles can help waken your mood just a little bit, right? And then we have our pleasure line, guys. The pleasure side of it is really sweet sexy it's like oh my god i'm gonna meet this new guy he's so handsome and i know that he appreciates good smells on a woman and i know that he can appreciate something authentic and real and genuine so i'm gonna bring something to help wake in the mood just to get him in the mood okay so we have all kind of candles guys to help waken your mood to elevate your spirit to inspire you to help you elevate and grow and evolve all right now the good thing about passion versus pleasure is that we now have holiday candles so yep our holiday candles come in so many formats and so many ways and just to give an example we have this beautiful one here um it has lavender on top most of these candles that are this big will have at least three or four cents okay depending on what if you know like if you have like a special request and you can say mm, can i just get two cents like can i just get like vanilla and lavender or if you don't mind me doing my exact holiday candles the way that they are prepared then you can rest assured that it will be packed with at least three or four cents. And on my website, g1insights.org, you guys get a glimpse of that, okay? We have lemon, we have cinnamon, lavender, rosemary, you name it. We have it, guys. Tropical, orange, mango, whatever, vanilla. We have it all, okay? Literally, like, we have it all, okay? So what I would like for you guys to do is to simply... If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, first and foremost. I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. So that way, anytime I go live or upload a video to YouTube, you guys will be amongst the first to find out. Okay? Two, uh, I need to have you guys as a member. Because, guess what else Passion versus Pleasure is doing? Yeah, for every holiday candle that is purchased, we are donating a portion of that to a family in need. And guess what? You get to reap the rewards during tax season. You get to actually claim everything that you have invested into this movement. And you can find a lot more about this information once you go onto my website, g1insights.org. So guys, today I am hooking up a nice Halloween candle um, or harvest, you know, to each his own. Okay, um, I have my thermometer ready. I'm going to check my temperature because the last time I checked it, it said 180 something, 190, even 200. <laughs> so I need to give my wax a few seconds to kind of cool down before I do this. Okay, um, but in the meantime, I would love if you guys can show some love, if you guys can go on my website and check things out if you haven't already. I am going to make sure that I post these links below so that way you guys will have access to everything that I am doing in regards to this new holiday movement guys do you know how many families have been put out of their homes how many children are hungry that probably won't even get to have a christmas this season and it has really touched my heart and it has been weighing heavy on my heart that no matter what i do it really doesn't matter if i can't get back to the community so guess what i have made it my mission to make better bigger candles 
holiday candles because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, we celebrated holidays in a huge way. I mean, my parents were, like, really religious, so they didn't believe in the whole Halloween thing. But we did celebrate harvest. We did, you know, we would bake pies, pumpkin, apple, and sweet potato. We will bake sweet potato, pumpkin, apple, you know, and the list goes on. My mom used to also make this um, cake called, um, which is very popular, by the way, called pineapple upside down cake. O-M-G. And I loved her so much for this one specific reason. I mean, that was my mom, so I loved her regardless, right? But I mean, this one specific reason like, I don't eat peanuts of any kinds, not walnuts, not pistachios, not almonds, not butter pecan. I don't eat any of that. And when she used to make her pineapple upside down cake, she used to add, um, I think it was walnuts, if I'm not mistaken. My siblings are correct me later, but I believe that it was, um, I think it was uh, walnuts or something that she used to, like, add on it. And I was like, yeah, I don't eat that. I'm allergic and make my thumb. Like, I used to have, like, the only breakdown because I wanted some of that cake. And she used to put nuts on it, <laughs> knowing that I was allergic. So, but like any good mom, she was like, all right, this year I won't do that. Or I'll make two. Or this is, or sometimes during the years, maybe she will make it with no walnuts, just cherries in the middle. And I used to go, oh my God, I used to be so excited as a kid. I used to be so excited. So these are my, some of my holiday memories. And um, I'm going to continue to share these things with you guys, just so you guys can like um, have an idea of where all this inspiration is coming from. Like my parents weren't rich. But they always made sure that I had a way to enjoy my holiday. And that is the whole thing that I, we are dedicated to, um, my family and I. Like, we want to dedicate this holiday season to families in need and give back to the community. Okay? So I really hope that this video can inspire some of you to uplift some of your spirits and um, get you pumped for the holiday. I'm excited for harvest season. I'm excited for the new year to come. I believe it's going to be a much better year no matter what the government says. I feel like we are in a much better position than what we were back in March. So let's get started, guys, okay? I have my thermometer. I need to check my wax again. Um, I want to make sure that it's not too cool because that won't be a good I idea either, okay? So let's check it. Still not at 100 yet, guys. So it's cooling down. It's at 140 right now. So that's good. It's cooling down. So what we're going to do is continue to speak. Duh. I'm G1 Writer. If anybody know how to talk, it's definitely me. Okay. So in the meantime, guys, maybe I can show you some of my other holiday candles. This is considered to be 12 ounces. Okay. Look at that baby. She's so pretty. <laughs> a lot of my candles smell so good that it makes you want to eat them. Mm. This is lilac, guys. Lilac, uh, vanilla, and mango on the bottom. It smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And then we have our beautiful lemon candle. It smells so good, guys. You have to, well, you can't eat it, but you have to try this. Like, just one day, just like chilling in your home, relaxing. I just want you to burn one of these candles. Now, normally, when Passion Purchase Plus first started, we did use only these size candles, which is approximately three ounces, okay? I have other candles um that are um three and a half ounces so about 3.5 going into four ounces right and this is a harvest slash pumpkin because we do have pumpkin in it 
So this is a harvest candle, is that's what I call it. And it does smell, well, fuck, I forgot, I can't let you smell it. But it smells really, really good. Um, see that? Okay. It smells really, really good, guys. And so, um, some of the other ones I started working on, um, which is this one. This one has actually been purchased. So, I, um, yeah, this one has been purchased already. It's getting ready to be shipped out. I'm excited. G1 Insights logo on the side. So we can open this one up a little bit. Oh. Uh, this one has um, lavender and lemongrass on the bottom with tea tree. So this is another one that is really, really good. Like it smells so good. It's strong. But in my opinion, I would either use this during like like right when winter rolls in i wouldn't really use this particular scent during harvest season i would definitely use it during the winter moments like right when fall is almost over going into the first few days of winter um even around christmas or hanukkah or um anything of that nature okay it smells so good like i would use this is when i would use one of these candles they smell so good and definitely like early morning too like you know when you have to wake up really early to like prepare a meal for your family because they're about to fly in from like alaska or arizona one of the weird places right trust me you don't want to miss out on having something that can really help everyone get in the mood now this candle that i'm making today is filled with it also has cinnamon. This this wax that I mean this candle that I'm making also has pumpkin, cinnamon, um, vanilla abstract actually vanilla abstract not the not the oil but the abstract itself. All right, so this candle is a bit different, guys. I think we should check our temperature again. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? All right, here we go. All right, it's going. So I'm gonna check the temperature one more time, everyone. All right. So I think it's so important to have the right temperature when you're doing your candles because first and foremost, you don't want your candles to come out jacked up. Okay, so, and working with you guys, I know more importantly, that things need to be right. Uh -oh. Damn, that is on me. Alright, so it's still a little warm, but I think it should be good to go. So I am once again. it halfway because again this is going to be a few different scents so we're not going to overdo it all right and i hope that you guys appreciate what we do thank you for watching